I'll try and fit in a game of Blitz. I hardly ever get time for Blitz these days, so 2050, good luck. What happened there? Did the clock jump or something at the start? Um, let's go G3 and take. Hmm. Okay, just castle. Unless he plays bishop up, of course. He flies down the board. So I'll just charge the centre. Going to play h4. Down I'll just um, take. I might even play a really dubious gambit here. I'm not sure. But that move, this is a bit less forcing now. So I'll take my pawn back. Obviously, if the knight moves out of the way, it's g5 is still a move, but my bishop kind of half covers, but not really. Get the knight back, it's not so bad. The knight's now gone. So that would be nice if we get time. Queen up allows me to develop my bishop. There's no pawn forward, I just take. So again, knight up or knight across. It's whether I want to go back to f3 or not. Um... Actually, I'm going to go here, although it's a risk I might get trapped here. You can push now as well. Hmm. Yeah, let's just go forward and make sure we can drop the queen back, even if we lose the pawn. Not the end of the world. That's if you do this, of course. That's what he's done. Let's go back, cover this. I'll probably bring the knight to the natural square now. Eventually. I could take here and bishop up, I guess, but then you're kind of inviting this again. I think he wants um, queen side, I think. That's what I'm expecting. So that's what we've got. So let's play knight up. Maybe take a knight forward. That's what we're going to do. If he goes in the wrong square, there is a check, but of course he should see that. Let's just take, hit the pawn. An emergency move if needed. There's no pawn to fly forward here now. But that's a, just a free pawn, right? I mean, I've got bishop up with, as well, which might be better. Because you can't easily guard it. So that might be a better move to try and win this pawn. If queen across, then I think just take. Well, you'd probably keep this one then. But either way, we should get one of them. goes across so i think i'll take this one and then probably just try and drop back to the start this pawn can fly down the board of course there's still danger and then i need to rook one or the other of these um again does it matter which one i'm on or do i just sack here yeah let's try and open this file up Threatening just to take. If it ignores it, I think I can just sack a pawn here and activate the rook. With bishop back. The queen over, I think we take. Still rook across, same concept. Okay. It's a simple rook over and bishop back. Maybe you've got rook up if my bishop moves. I'm trying to stop sacrifices like this, but keep pressure on here. So rook up, rook across, that sort of concept. Actually, can I just take here now? Take, take, rook across. Take, take. It's probably fine, but maybe... I couldn't see unnecessary, but if that bishop moves back, you do guard. Um... So rook up. I'm happy to lose this pawn. That doesn't really matter. Now let's go sensible. Let's guard here and just double up. I'm up that little bit on the clock. I see the queen has to guard right now. So now three attack, three defend. But there is a bishop to come in. But you've maybe got rook here if I do that. So now we'll try and just push the pawn up the board. Maybe this one as well. Just trying not to collapse my defences as well. It's difficult for black to try and break through. Oh, that's what it feels like. So it comes up. 
So again, you can't take because we just crashed through. Oh, maybe I missed Rook up here to come across, actually. That's careless. Although I guess your king could just simply go back. Well, the king can't retreat now. So just threaten this. You'll probably have to go here. Let's just check and make. That's a nice checkmate. Don't play Blitz, Blitz much right now. So that's a very good win. Excellent. Actually, I should have put it through the analyzer, shouldn't I, like I do with the rapid game. So we've got 29 moves. So they're the move times for both players. So let's just request an analysis. Felt like we played a pretty decent game there, but let's just see what we actually played. Or in engine speak, anyway. Well, we certainly played the end of the game pretty well. It looks like a decent game, doesn't it? Oh, wow, we played 96% versus 88% accuracy, CPL 17 and 50. My level, that's a really good game. That's a really good game, isn't it? So we have a few inaccuracies. H4 we shouldn't have done, and B5. So H4. Oh, it was fine just to take here. Don't worry about G5, I imagine, is what the engine is saying there. Maybe you just take, bishop takes, take, trade off. There's still this to come, but the engine's saying, don't worry about that. Then in this position, b5, I should have played rook f to d1 instead. That's just kind of really... Mm. There might be a long, deep-seated concept behind that that I just don't see right now. Queen to c6, king to g2. So anything is rook across, queen up, king up. Just maintain a nice solid position, but it worked out all right, didn't it? We played a very good game there at our level, very good.